What is up guys and welcome back. This is Italy turn 10. Uh, starting off with tech, let's do improved construction. Hey, hey, look at that. We finally got it. Uh, unfortunately, it is not going to affect my purchase this turn, which is kind of a bummer because that would have helped at the last two turns. But hey, we're still above average, so that's cool. For our purchase, we had 16. We're going to buy a Colonial, an Infantry, and an Airborne for 10, and then a AAA and a Militia for 6, and that will be our 16. It never feels like enough. Uh, for combat, starting off here in Africa, we're going to walk a couple of infantry into the Congo. Speaking of which... I forgot to grab a bunch of roundels. That's okay. Uh, so we're going to do this walk-on here. Uh, we've got a couple more walk-ons. Um, so, I guess you can't see that. We're going to have a transport come out here. I think he's going to pick up an infantry from Saranaika. I guess I only need to pick up the one, don't I? Uh, and then, whoops, sorry, British. <laughs> and that infantry will get dropped off in Transjordan. We're also going to walk an infantry into Western Egypt. So we'll do those two walk-ons. Um, next up, the other transport is going to come out of port here. Grab two Marines, drop them off into Crete. Uh, joining those guys will be this fighter from Tobruk. We'll fly two spaces to Crete and have two moves left over. Um, here in this sea zone, all of our subs will converge along with this seaplane. And we're all going to raid. Since we're at a minus three on those coastal subs now, they're going to need all the help they can get. Or minus two, I guess, but still. Pink. So, five subs and a seaplane there. Um, up next. We're going to try to finish off Greece here. Before the Russians get here. <laughs> Infantry and artillery into Macedonia with a fighter. That's two spaces, we'll have two left. Uh, two mountains and an artillery going into the Peloponnese. Joining them is this tack bomber. One, two, three. He will have one left. Okay. I believe that's it for combats. So let's, I'm actually going to steal some roundels from mainland Italy here. Okay, let's just do the walk-ons real quick. Oops. So we'll take Western Egypt, Transjordan. And Belgian Congo. We'll be up three for the Italians, down three for the British. Um, and then those are the only territories worth an IPP value that we're going to be going after. So let's roll the convoy raids. Alrighty, we'll start out with the, uh, I guess the seaplane, which is at a minus two, but it won't get the anti-submarine warfare shot back. So let's try that. <laughs> a resounding failure. Now we've got three coastal subs also at minus two. There's a failure, but the anti-sub warfare shot misses. Coastal sub number two. There's a failure. Coastal sub number three. 
he dies, but he dies honorably. Look at that. <laughs> so that is what? 5 minus 1 minus 2 is 2 points of damage, I guess. Just about as honorably as he can die. So we'll add 2 points of damage to this line and remove a coastal sub. And now we've got two regular subs going. They will be at minus one. Oh my gosh. Not worth it. Well, I uh, maxed out the line, but I lost another sub. That's crazy. Italy can't handle these losses. Um, now that brings up a point. Do I have to roll the last sub if I already maxed out the line? I hope not. We'll roll this, and it misses, thankfully, but uh, for the future, that is a question that I would like to know the answer to. Okay. So, coming back over here. We did six points of damage to this, but lost six points of sub. So, that's not cool. Um... Now we can do, I guess, Crete. So let's whoop. switch back over here. Oh gosh, I forgot my bombards again. <laughs> um, shoot. Many apologies, guys. I did this last turn too. Uh, so, since we're only dropping off two guys, we'll just have a battleship and a heavy cruiser bombarding into Crete. Whoops, sorry. Okay, battleship at four. Heavy cruiser at two. All right. Um, and now we're going to have two marines at one and a fighter at six. Uh-oh. And a militia at two defending. Woo! Look at that. Alright, let's go again. Two Marines and a fighter. Okay, the fighter hits with a four. And then the militia. Jeez. What is going on? <laughs> that is brutal. I'm getting murdered by twos. Okay, well, dims the brakes, I guess. Where's that last? So we'll take Crete with Marine. Uh, the next fight is the Peloponnese. I've got two mountains and an artillery and a tactical against one infantry. So we'll roll an artillery at two. Come on, where are my twos? <laughs> and now we've got a mountain at two. A mountain at three, boosted by the artillery. And a attack bomber at seven. Okay, so the attack bomber hits. Infantry defends at four. Okay. Mercifully, he misses. So the Peloponnese fight is concluded. Alrighty, and then the last one is up there. I've got an infantry and an artillery uh, and a fighter. Now let's see. Coming out of Eastern Yugoslavia, that is a mountain border, but not a mountain territory. So my infantry and artillery will be uh, penalized for the first round there. So artillery at two. Dang. Infantry at two and a fighter at six will hit that's good and then militia at two <laughs> thought for sure he was gonna hit all right take these guys off and we will claim all of greece cyprus and malta uh, it's going to last for a turn, but we did it. So we'll place 
an air transport and a seaplane in the Placinus box, and they are immortal. Whatever they did, they, they figured out the secret to immortality. So that's kind of cool. Italians first. All right, uh, so non-combat moves. Yeah, look at this plane dive bombing. That's kind of cool. Uh, so this guy is going to fly back to Tobruk. We're going to have a motorized from Tobruk move into Cyrenaica. Um, attack bomber in the Peloponnese is going to land in Thessaly. Oops. The fighter in Macedonia is going to fly to Uh, I guess we'll put him in Thessaly as well. Um, so we're going to have a destroyer come out of port in M3 and move 1, 2, 3 down to um, M8 here. I think. Uh, this heavy cruiser will come out of port and move to M8. The Raging Marina will come out of port, leave our German brother behind, and move down into M8. So we'll go one, two, three, so that TBD can make it. We've got a heavy cruiser. A light cruiser, two destroyers, and a torpedo boat. And then this destroyer from Syria will also come join the Navy. Look at that. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, what else was I going to do? We still got these guys sitting in Malta. Right. Uh, Seaplane, I guess, will come off of map and go back to Tobruk. This air transport is going to go one, two, pick up an airborne in Cyprus, and then three, four, five. Did I do that right? No, I didn't. Anyway, it's six moves. <laughs> so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and land in Eritrea with that airborne. Um, this fighter in northern Italy, let's see if we can get his whole track on the camera here. Kind of. Uh, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five into Sudan from that air base. Okay. Now we're going to move a, a, a colonial from Italian Somaliland into Tanganyika. Uh, infantry from Abyssinia into Tanganyika. This cavalry will come down into Tanganyika. Uh, colonial from British Somaliland into uh, Italian Somaliland. Now we're going to put him in Abyssinia. Um, and the infantry in Nubia is going to... We'll put him into Sedan with that fighter. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. No, actually, we need to leave that infantry in Nubia. My bad. And we're actually going to put the cavalry into Sedan instead. I'm sorry, I'm changing everything up. So cavalry went from French Somaliland into... Uh, or does that desert reduces movement to one? 
poopers. Okay, well, I guess he's got to stay in Abyssinia. <laughs> My bad. Okay, that's it. Yeah, okay. Uh, one last look. Everything looks good. All right, so let's play the units. Starting down here in Africa, we are going to have a colonial infantry built in Italian Somaliland. Um, this militia will be built in Nubia. Okay. And then everything else has to be built at our major factory up north. So we've got an infantry, an airborne, uh, a triple A gun, and then a seaplane. Woohoo! Yay, seaplane! And then this yellow air transport because I actually only have one Italian air transport, so I'm going to use my Canadian one, and it's going to do the job just fine. Alrighty. Um, I didn't physically update the income trackers, but I did go up three to uh, 17 and the British went down three to, I believe they're at 22 now. Uh, and then we took six bucks off of them. So that's cool. Uh, so the Italians are at 17. 17 plus 2 for having no enemy ships. Oh, I forgot about the Anzac cruiser. Well, okay, we'll beat 17. Completely forgot about it. Uh, that's fine. So we'll have uh, 17 bucks for next turn, and I'll see you guys next time.